Hey everybody, thanks a lot for checking out the second part of this uh, video series. We are talking about how we're going to uh, play this year and the shape in which we're going to play. Um, this is the first video was talking about how we build out of the back. So how do we take the ball from our goalkeeper and how do we move it into the middle third of the field? Um, what this video is going to be talking about is how do we take the ball from the middle third of the field and get it to the final third of the field um, or our attacking third of the field where we can get it into dangerous places to create chances to score goals. So just a quick recap uh, in terms of our formation, we have our keeper. Our back line is consistent of our two center backs we had, and two full backs who play, um, play out wide. We have our defensive center midfielder, the six here. We have two attacking center midfielders, um, who, who again, we, we like to keep central. And then we have our striker. You will, you will note that the team defending us, um, the team pressuring us, is in a 3-2-3. Three, three. And the reason I have put them in a 3-2-3 three, three is that is the most common um, formation that we're going to play against this year. And so... I, I think this will be more representative uh, of situations that we're going to get into. Now we're going to play some teams that will play slightly different formations than this, um, and then there could be some variations as far as the points go here, but the overwhelming concepts are basically the same. So we're going to talk about midfield transition or moving the ball through the mid middle of the field in, in really two main categories, and in general, and this, this can get way more, you know, a lot more complicated. When we have the ball into the middle of the field, the ball is either wide or it's central. And so if the ball is wide, there are going to be some things that happen. And if the ball is central, there are going to be some things that open up as we move to the middle of the field. So we'll go ahead and get this started. This is, again, we're, we're just building out of the back here. The ball has gone to our center back. Um, you can see that the weak side, uh, the opposite side is starting to shift over, the nine is starting to shift over, and the two will start to come down to support. And we see that that's happened. The four, uh, having space, will take it. And overwhelmingly, whether we're talking about um, either the building out of the back or, 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 or getting through the midfield, taking space uh, is typically going to be encouraged. If you have space forward, we are going to typically want you to dribble into that space. Uh, because what that's going to do is allow the defenders to have to make a decision. Um, they either have to press you or they have to fall back on a passing option. And either way, that's, that's a good situation for us. So the four will take space and the 11 has decided to press here. So um, there, there are a couple different options that, that they could do. Um, certainly they could go to the eight, although um, that, that's going to be a heavy, heavy congested area. Um, could also go back to the one here. The six is really not an option. The nine is basically closing that off. Um, but the two is, is probably the best option, and that's that's what we're going to go ahead and do here. So the ball has gotten into the two, and we are still a little bit in our defensive third, but kind of getting into our middle third. And again, there's space in front of our fullback here, and we are going to encourage them to take it. So now we clearly are in the middle part of the field. And remember, I said we're going to talk about how we move the ball through our, the middle third of our field, um, basically if, uh, if we're central or if we're, if we're central or if we're wide. So here we're wide, and the fullback has the ball wide and has now been closed off by their opponent's fullback. There, there are a couple of options, uh, but I want to, before we get into the options, just I want you to look at the field and I want you to tell me or just tell yourself where the dangerous parts of the field are right now in our attacking third. And if you guessed the wide area here and the wide area on the opposite side of the field, you are correct. Um, it, it, those you can see there are absolutely no defenders in. And if we can get a ball into these spaces, um, it's very, very dangerous. So. So two options before we get into options that are, that, are, that are a little more obvious, two options would be to try to play a ball either over the top here into this space, or if you can get it through this person, uh, depending on how, how much you're getting pressed, getting a ball into here for the nine to come down and get would be the absolute best option. 
but that's not always on, and that's a difficult ball to play at our level, um, at our age. So the other option is an extremely difficult ball played all the way over the top across the field to um, the fullback on the other side. Again, very difficult ball. The, the um, kind of most, the easiest options here, uh, and again, I've highlighted the middle third of the field or out wide are either the eight or the nine here, or if it's not looking good and you just want to uh, reset, go ahead and going back to the four. Um, this, this is going to be um, the first look. A lot of times what will happen, especially at our age, is this two will try to get through the three. Um, and that can happen sometimes, but good teams should be able to keep you in front of them. So we should really be looking into this middle part of the field, or like I said, to play a ball into these dangerous areas, which I'm gonna highlight in a minute. In this scenario, we're gonna play the ball into our nine. All right, and now this is a concept that I really want, if, if you're playing our striker, you have to understand the benefit of holding the play up here. It is extremely unlikely that you will be able to turn this guy and get to goal for a shot. The, the space will close too fast on good defensive teams, and a good center back won't, won't even let you do that. So you can be extremely dangerous by, by literally just holding the play up and making a decision that I'm going to talk about in a minute. So now, again, these are these two areas I talked about. We have, we're holding the play up here with our nine, and again, these are the most dangerous areas in the attacking third, and this is really where we want to focus getting the ball. If for whatever reason we have a play in the center, th that's fine, but more than likely the dangerous spots will be here and here. So in that, um, in that sort of uh, you know, category, the nine has a couple of options. He can play a ball into this dangerous area if the fullback is coming. And if you're the fullback on this side and you played a ball centrally, you should continue your run because then you're going to force the three to have to go with you or have, to, or they might not even see you because their back might be turned. The other option here is to play a ball to the eight or play a ball back to the six. And by doing that, by playing the ball to the eight or the six back here as they're coming with you, they can then in turn get this ball over to the dangerous area on the opposite side of the field, or they can take space centrally, and you can even uh, you can even <clears throat> make a turn here and go and do like a, a, a wall pass or a one-two and get into something dangerous. So we'll just continue to play this out here, and in this particular situation, the ball gets played to the eight. All right, and remember, if the two has continued on his run, the eight can go ahead and play this ball now into the dangerous space, into the two, which is exactly what we're going to do. Again, and the, or if the eight wanted to, and the, this is available, could play a ball here into the 10 to get in here, or could play a ball all the way over to the three into here. I like to call this a midfield switch um, or a second switch if we've already switched it once, because Again, you can see how many players are on this on the right side of the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of their guys are on this half of the field. Okay, and so unless we play this ball into this area, we are. It, it is extremely unlikely against a good team we're going to go through the, all these guys on this side of the field or in this congested area here. So here we go. What I've just described. The eight can play a ball in here. They can play a ball here. They can even play a ball back to the six. Um, although, again, th this is going to be a tough ball for, for the six to deal with, and there may be better options up top moving forward. And we always want to look to play forward if we can. Uh, we don't want to rush things, but if there's a ball that can be played into space, we want to be extremely dangerous going forward into space. So here we go. And now, now that this ball's here, I'll stop it here. We are extremely dangerous. Okay, there's a lot of different options that can happen now. The two can continue it out wide, can play it in. Um, there's a two v one here with a nine. Our nine and our two against their four. This the, we have two runners coming um, who would be ready for for a, a cross. But now we're in. We're into our attacking third of the field. And the next video that I talk about, um, we're going to be focusing on the attacking third. Um, right now, I'm just talking on again. How do we move the ball through the middle third of the field? and um, what the options might be. So, so that, that is extremely, extremely dangerous. All right, so again, guys, that was just one example, but I wanted to 
to really talk about a, a couple of things that if we get the ball wide in the wide parts of the middle third of the field, uh, what the options would be, where the dangerous areas are. Um, and that those dangerous areas are going to pop up even in the central part of the field, which you'll see. But we have to start trying to understand where do we want this ball to go and where is the space to open things up and, and, and get us into dangerous spots to score goals. And, we ha and you have to think about it. And you have to know before you, before you even get there. Um, and, and the coaches will help you. But this is this is just, you know, critical that you understand. Um, and, and, and as you're watching these videos, you really should be focusing on the position that the coaches have been putting you in and, and seeing the diagram. Where are they going? Where are they leaving their space? Okay, now we're going to talk about a ball that is in the central part of our middle third of the field. So we'll start again from our keeper and we'll go ahead and play it out to the fullback. So, so there's a pretty stark difference to what, the, what has happened to this press to the press you saw before. So the press you saw before, the nine pretty much stayed over here. Okay, the nine was, was, was doing what we try to call splitting the field. They were trying to prevent us from switching in the back and the 11 was pressing the four. Okay, here, the nine is pressing the four and the 11 is pressing the two. Okay, this is a little bit more of a higher press, a little bit, um, a little bit more pressure here because your immediate option um, that, that would, be, you know, it would be more common sense is not there. Um, and you can see here that eight is struggling to get into a, a good area. Um, now maybe the eight will finally, will eventually get there and we can play this ball. But uh, you know, for the purposes of this example, um, we're gonna, in the back, we've, we've had to make a switch because we have nothing on this side of the field. We're, we're compressed, the space is tight, so we're gonna go ahead and make a switch. And that switch could have gone through our keeper, but because now, and in fact, a, a good nine who's, 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 um, who's closing the field, this ball shouldn't be there. The ball should go through the one. But there was a, there was a small amount of space and we have, our fullbacks are very good, played a ball into our six, okay? And again, this is an overwhelming theme. If you have space, we want you to take it. So the six has now got space in the center of the field. We want that to take, to take it. Okay, unless this ball is on 100%, which the seven is, is, is in a spot where he might be able to intercept it. And if that happens, we're in trouble, okay? But if he takes the space, the 10 will come over and our attacking midfielder should, should get into a good angle where, where that, that pass can't be picked off. So here we go, the six is taking space. All right, six is taking space. And I wanna focus on our two attacking midfielders here. It is extremely critical that you stay central and become options here. If you get wide, you take yourself completely out of the play and the six has nowhere to go with it. You have got to be options, even though this is a tight space, these have to be options here, okay? We need this triangle to happen. Um, the, now the, if you're playing the six and there's nothing here, you've got to play it back to the keeper or one of the center backs um, because the ball, the ball out wide will probably not be there. The ball centrally will be there if the attacking center midfielders have dropped further enough down to get into good angles. Now the eight has got into a great angle here. The ten is a little bit compressed, but 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 okay. Um, this ball can probably be, probably be played as well as the eight ball to the eight can probably be played. So the six is now done taking the space. Okay, and we're going to highlight here what has happened. The ball is in the central part of the field. All right. Again, against a good team playing defensively, they should compress us here. Um, if there's wide open spaces and the six can just dribble through people, it's probably not a very good team we're playing. Uh, a good team will stay compact defensively and it will look something like this. So in this situation, the six's options are really here, okay? If, if you can play a wide ball out here, it, again, it's a difficult pass, uh, but we'd absolutely encourage you to do it. Uh, but I think the much simpler ball is to play it to the 10 or the eight. Um, or if that's closed, you just go back. And, and if you go back here to the five, there's nothing saying the five couldn't get the ball out wide and we're gone. Um, but in this, in this particular sense, you can see what's happened when the ball is central as we're trying to get to the midfield. Again, it's, it's, it's getting compressed. And most of the time, our options are going to be here as the six moves forward. So in this situation, um, we're going to go ahead and, and just get the ball to the 10. Okay. Now, as the 10 has the ball here, um, again, where do we notice the dangerous areas are in the attacking part of the field? It's the same areas that they were before, okay? The wide attacking parts of the field. These are very dangerous areas uh, because 
here, this is going to stay compact. And yes, you could get the ball to the nine. There's nothing wrong with playing this ball to the nine. The problem is, look at how many defenders are around him, okay? So in this situation, the ball out wide is going to be extremely dangerous, okay? And whether that comes from the 10, or honestly, even if that ball, if the nine comes up, that ball plays to the nine and the nine gets wide. But what, what we see sometimes, or what I see sometimes, is that you end up having the the midfielder here try to either force a ball into our nine who's either had three guys on him or tries to dribble it on his own when the space is opened up wide. So again, the ball is here in a very dangerous spot and I'm just gonna highlight again where the dangerous areas are. So if you have the ball here, your options are certainly to dribble the ball in to this, this dangerous area, and it depends a little bit on how quick the fullback on this side is recovered. Um, or uh, the option certainly would be just to play the ball in here and let the nine go run after it. Uh, that's, that's certainly an option. Um, but these areas, there's no defenders here. So if we can find a way, the other option would be to, to take the guy on, let the 10 come in, play the ball to the 10, and we do what I said before, is we do a midfield switch or a midfield transition, and, and the 10 or even the six, as we're transitioning forward, plays the ball out wide, either through the eight or in the air, across the field to the other side, into this dangerous area. But here, you can see, this is a two on one or even a two v two here, and we love this situation. So you will see here, that the options um, clearly are to just dribble into this area, play the ball into this area, look to the 10, and the 10 can come in through here, and then you got a, a 3v2 against these two guys. Um, or again, if everything is closed off, this fullback should be coming back and transitioning on. And in this situation, we're just gonna play the ball in here, okay? Um, but certainly the option to, uh, to go ahead and, and dribble in would have been just fine. So guys, this, this is really the, um, I just wanted to do a quick video looking at how we move the ball through the middle third of our field, both wide and centrally. So just, just to bring up a couple good points, uh, you know, bullet points for you to think about. One, if you have space, take it, really no matter where you are in the field. If you are playing in the fullback roles and we are bringing the ball up and you're bringing it up through the wide areas, look to that beyond ball, the nine, or to our central midfielder. Um, also consider playing a ball over the top to the danger areas if, if it's on. Um, and if it's not on, just play it back and let's be patient. If you're playing the attacking center mid roles, it's vitally important you stay, you stay centrally. The only reason you would, you would get out wide is if our fullback got completely stuck and the nine was not able to get out there. Um, and that, that could happen if we're transitioning, if we're switching field, that could happen. But, but I just, to start the season, I want you to really focus on staying centrally and then giving angles. If we're building through the middle third of the field in the central parts of the field, you've got to give the six an angle or, or it could be the four um, or the five, one of our center backs who's dribbling through the, 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 um, the central part of, of the middle third of the field as we're going through our midfield transition. You have to give a, a basically a 45 degree angle either way to provide that through ball. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask me, um, you know, during the session or, or have your parents email me. Um, but thank you guys so much. Um, and we'll get more videos out as soon as we can.